Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to get you a tour of our camper. It is a Coachman Apex 287 BHS. It is a bunkhouse model, which works for us because we have the little one. And uh, it's got some neat features to it. So let's uh, check it out. Uh, but before we do that, I would ask that you guys click that subscribe button for us. Uh, we've got so much content coming out. If you click the bell icon next to it, you'll get uh, notifications whenever we upload a new video like this one. And um, go ahead and click that like button. Uh, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you like, what you don't like about the trailer, um, and what you love about your trailer. You know, uh, this is not going to be our forever trailer. We hope to go full time in the next three or four years. And when we do, we'll upgrade to something else. So um, we're always on the lookout for different must-have features. Anyway, let's, uh, let's check this guy out. Okay, today we're gonna give you a tour of our Apex Ultralight. It's a Coachman. Apex Ultralight 287 BHSS. We've got this awesome front window that we absolutely love. Um, dual propane tanks, uh, power jack, which is nice, and one slide out. Um, our package came with the frameless windows and the tent, which is great. We got pass through storage up front. We've got a knocking toddler who's just waiting for us to come in. We chose to put a slide topper on. That was uh, something we had put on at the dealership. As well as this backup camera. We had that put on aftermarket. And this has a door that we'll show you in a little bit that opens up to the bunkhouse. The bottom bunk flips up so you can put um, bikes, kayaks, and, and other things in there. The outdoor shower. We've got a camp kitchen here. So we've got a camp kitchen here with a fridge not huge, but a nice sized fridge. It only runs on the electric, not propane. Um, counter space, a drawer. And this had a grill in it. This slides out and there was a grill attached to it, but the grill was just, it was basic. Um, there's a light in here too. I'm sorry, I've got stuff all in here. And there's an outlet back there as well. Um, we pretty much use it for outdoor storage right now, but eventually we'll use it a little better. Um, anyway, we upgraded our grill to this Weber Q series, and we'll do another video on that, but uh, we love our Weber Q. And then this is not something we really wanted, but it came with the trailer package, and that is an outdoor TV. So, um, Sunday we'll use it. Uh, we used it our first trip out, but after that, when we're outside, we really like to just be sitting around the campfire or playing so we're really not watching TV um, but I guess it's a nice option to have especially if we're somewhere long term get your water heater and again pass through storage it's got a nice awning on it um, it's a power awning it's an 18 foot and it does um, it does uh, tilt and you can lock it into place. So that's good. Basic steps. Door, some lights, outdoor speakers. And there is an LED strip all along the awning for lights. Um, so these outdoor speakers, or I'm sorry, the outdoor lights here and there. And there's a little light under there, those are blue and the LED lights along the awning are white. It lights up things pretty good outside and um, also attracts bugs. So uh, we also have 
outdoor power. So that's cool. All right, let's check out the inside. Hi. Well, hello. You wanna come inside? I do. All right, come on in. Sure. First, let's take a look at the screen upgrades. Right, right. Here, let's. <laughs> there we go. Here, I'll latch this up. Okay. Keeps little feet and big noses from pushing through the screen. Yep. And then we added that bar, that silver and black bar up there. Yes. And that's a great way to grab the... There's really not... Here, I'll show you. There's really not a great way to, to grab this. Um, I mean, you've got this lip here. But having this bar all across up here makes it a lot easier. Yeah. to grab it and close the screen door before dogs or kids come boring out. Dogs. Speaking of <laughs> dogs. So as you come in, you've got the bedroom off to the right. You've got a little, you've got a little island here. I love this, by the way, because your coffee maker fits perfectly. My oil diffuser fits perfectly. Um, we keep little trash bags up here down here we keep usually the coffee maker, the oil diffuser. We've got water bottles, a jug of drinking water, and the big flashlight down here. Um, and this is great because there's a spot under here for shoes, although we do have shoe storage in the bedroom. Um, we put up command hooks everywhere <laughs> because somebody has a lot of hats. So it's pretty great. And then um, we have this hook over here for all of the doggy stuff, for her collars, her leash, the flashlight, her harness for when she's outside, because she requires a lot of stuff. Um, oh, pantry. It's, it's a mess, but it fits everything. So we keep the sugary stuff up high where somebody can't reach it. And then in the lower one, we just keep paper towels and the heater is in there, a little space here that we love so much. Oh yeah, my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> that is a must have when you have the- Oh, the little heater one that moves around. The little heater that we used when it was cold, when we were camping and it was cold. Yeah, that moved side forward, sideways. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is obviously the dinette area. Yes, those are the two bucks couch, TV, fridge. Slow right. down there, Pancho. Let's so see what we got here. We have storage under here, um, but we don't keep anything under there. We keep the, the sink cover and your hiking boots are under one side, but that's it. We have so much storage space in there that we do not use. Mm -hmm. um, and then the, like most dinettes, the table folds down or the legs come off the table. It sits on a little lip on the bench and it converts into a bed. We have not had to do that yet. No, we haven't had to do that yet. And one of the things that I'm gonna do next weekend when we're out, these cushions are always sliding out, probably because of this guy right here. So we're gonna put Velcro on the base and on the cushion so that they stay put, because um, it makes me crazy. Sounds reasonable. Yeah, so. So this has a, we got a nice window here. Oh yes. And a window out here, which is yeah. good. Yeah, that one's broken though. No, it's, it's not. It's not broken. You just keep opening it and not closing it all the way. So we have the couch that also folds out into a bed. Um, we haven't done that yet either. It's pretty comfortable. Got your lights back here. Um, more storage. Over here, we keep the first aid kit, which we've actually had to use this time because somebody got a little cut on his butt. Malcolm's, so Malcolm's water wow stuff is in this one. And then we've got puzzles, coloring books, and all of our um, guides, like our North American bird book we have up there so that we can whip those out and see. And somebody, a little creepy toy. crawly, came on the couch yeah. for some reason. We've got towels, extra towel storage over here. Um, for some reason, a flashlight is in here. I'm not sure why that ended up there. Um, and Malcolm's Puddle Jumper. And I like this because we actually use these as night lights at night. 
so that if the kiddo gets up or if we get up in the middle of the night, you can see easy. Mm -hmm. Again, more windows. I love the windows. Yeah. I wish this had more natural light, but it, it's not too bad. No. The bathroom's a little to the left. <laughs> right. Yes, the bathroom. So we have more command hooks. Actually, this is pretty cool. Um, we put, we got these toothbrush holders off Amazon, right? And we have big kids, us, Malcolm, um, towel rack came with the it, dog food but over we here. installed this because Malcolm likes to stand up on here to wash his hands and everything gets soaked. So we've got the toilet paper here, our command hooks with our Ikea towels. These are great. We got these from Ikea and they have the loops on them so we can just hang them up. There's mom and dad's and Malcolm's. And in the shower, we've got um holder up here. We've got a, another hook for washcloths right there. And we've got the dispenser right here. So yeah, just a few little... Toothbrushes here? <laughs> yes. So just a few little upgrades in here. I think sink it works. right here? Yes, that is our sink. And we do have the... Oh, right, the fan. The fan and the little skylight up there. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah, it's nice, but I have to stand on my tippy toes to reach it. <laughs> and I can't see, I have to stand like, ta-da. There we go. Huh. <laughs> this is not made for short people. And then the bunks, we've got Malcolm's bunk right here. And my play bunk. Yes, this is the play bunk and also the storage bunk. So we've got our our big tub for all the stuff that comes back and forth, the food and things like that. I don't um, know outdoor what toys. That was made in that His car backpack is there. Our little gorilla cart that we got from Lowe's is there. Um, this is kind of great. He's got a lot of space in here. We put so he has to have his white noise for when we um, when he sleeps. So we've got his iPad on a command hook right there. And that makes it very, very easy because the there's USB plug-in. So the dog, the dog crate under here. Right, we have Zoe's crate under there because she can't be left out unattended. Um, and she doesn't. She really likes to be in her crate. Yeah, you yeah, go in her crate. That's the collapsible crate that we got from Amazon, wasn't it? From Amazon. Camping World. Camping World. We got that from Camping World, and it's pretty great. So we've got our TV here. Hey, come sit on the couch for a second, bud. Thanks. Um, we actually haven't used it at all this trip. That's been pretty great. We have movie storage, all the all the Wi-Fi stuff up here. We have this little lock face yeah. so you can um, get the Wi-Fi in the stuff fridge. has been a battle. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a battle. We keep the, the dog food great. and treats over here. Malcolm's rock collection there, and we have dog stuff under here plus i think we keep i think there's some tools and other yeah the toolbox i think is in there um and we have a little oh, thing. a little so cubby there okay the... hey, hush for a minute so we got a little cubby there um usb plugs there the thermostat controls are there and sorry malcolm's, malcolm's step stool malcolm's step stool so that he can get up in his bunk anytime he wants yeah hop on in and we have a little light here that goes switch off, switch on. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And yeah. The top bunk does have a little shelf and a power outlet up there. Yeah, too, they both have nice. power outlets. Um. The fridge that we also had a battle with. Yes. We could not get this. Uh, we turned it on and the refrigerator was not cooling down. The freezer was cooling down, but the fridge wasn't. Um, the little control hose had come unclipped, so it, it was a, a long day trying to get that figured nice. out. <laughs> Luckily, we have a good cooler and we packed it full of ice. Yes, yeah. So, the stove and oven that we barely use because we grill out all the time. So, a few upgrades that we have here. We've got the Papa plate, which is new. Scott put this in um, for this trip. And then we've got our... What is this called? I think it's Papa Roll. Papa Roll. Or so this just, and I know I think we showed this on our upgrades video, but 
So you can just take that outside and it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, the way this works is you microwave up there. It. There you go. Nice and easy. Microwave up there. Yes, the microwave. Fraser up there. She already showed all of this. This is kind of messy right now, but that's yeah. all right. We've got our our plate holders and our bowl holders and stuff like that all up in there. Whoop. And I'm knocking stuff over. So underneath here is more storage stuff. And I hate this space because it's really awkward, but we've managed to cram a lot of stuff in there. So, so yeah, that works. That works all of our drawers we, we had these plastic forks and spoons thinking that that would be fine and, and then knives. they started melting um so anytime we, we tried to eat anything hot so ikea to the rescue again we got a little here bub let me fix this we got little we got a regular silverware set so yeah. So the the top three drawers are full length, and then the bottom drawer is just an itty bitty. Yeah, it's this little half drawer that we keep. Like I've got my my oils in here, and we've got more of this um, non skid stuff. All right. We have our little weather one. Yes, the weather station. That's a great. Eighty three percent humidity. Welcome to Missouri. Yes. All yes, right. We have a right. snake here. Go into the bedroom, please. Yeah. Can you climb up on the bed? Our command hooks for our keys are right there too. Oh yeah. Oh, and, these and little... our magnetic flashlights. Yeah, these are pretty great. And then they can clip. There's magnets there, so they can clip to things. So you can just grab them on your way out with the dog in the middle of the night. Okay, and into the bedroom. Into the bedroom. All right, it's a little, it's a little tight in here. That's okay. You got Scott's side of the bed with his clothes there and there. Um, we've got my side of the bed over here, and these are pretty great. They're really deep. Um, I can fit all of the clothes in here. My camera bag goes in there on the bottom. Um, some pamphlets and stuff we picked up this weekend. Yes, my hair clippy is up there. I've got clothes here. We also have this great big um, wardrobe. So we've got Malcolm's socks and things over here. We keep his stuff there. We've got some drawers or some things up here and then I keep the dirty laundry bag right here <laughs> so dirty laundry goes in TVs, there one in my uh, one of in the living room and one in mommy's and daddy's room right so down here we've got mosquito repellent sunscreen all that kind of stuff in there in the doggy nose um so we've got our shoe storage here pretty great and the bed does lift up so that's where we put the duffel bags and I don't know if we can lift it up with the kid on it the Going for a ride. and um, my hiking boots are in there I'm so, right, and down all right and that's the bedroom I, oh you know what we didn't show um, the plugins that you put in okay these are great uh, I'll show on this side. That side. So it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, they work out really well. Yeah, I loved having them in here. Um, our first trip, it was early April and it was very cold. We actually went home early because of snow and I had my electric blanket plugged in. So that was pretty great. Yep, and this side has no fan, but it does have a little pop-up, so we get some fresh air in here, which is nice. It has a hole in it. It the does? The cover has a hole in it. The cover? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's a bed. Where? Right there. Oh my god. I wonder if that's from when we had that hailstorm roll through. Oh wow. We need to check all the vents now. We need to get up on the roof and this will have to be replaced. Because I can see it when it's closed too from this angle. Yep. Glad we did this tour video then. Now we've discovered something that has to be fixed because there's always something that has to be fixed. <laughs> right. Donkeys. <laughs> yeah. Donkey. And then my favorite part is looking at oh, this front yes. window. Our window. We can open this up at night and watch the stars. It's mm -hmm. pretty great. You can just literally 
lay here and watch the stars. And it's mm -hmm. pretty wonderful. I will go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's great. I like having this window and I'm sad because I'm imagining that whatever RV we end up going full time in is not going to have that because not many do. So that was our tour video of our RV. Hopefully you got some good ideas, maybe some things that you like and you don't like if you're in the market and shopping. Yeah. If you liked the video, hit the little like button. We always love to see that. Maybe subscribe. We put out new content as frequently as possible, usually once a week. Um, and we've got some camping videos coming up, some tutorials, some product reviews and things like that. So until then, We'll see you next time. We forgot something. What did we forget? These come up. <laughs> they do. Yep. And zippers. Yes, there are zippers there. Nobody knows why. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.